Kendrick. See, the truth is that we're frequency, and we go through life tuning ourselves to different frequencies. And just like the radio, when you tune yourself to a certain frequency, you get what that frequency has to offer you. Welcome to the frequency that's all about turning you into a greater version of you. Welcome to the podcast that's offering you greater. You are now tuned in to the Greater Resistance Podcast with me, the Manifest Mentor, Brian Hippolyte. Greater shall you be, greater shall you do, greater shall you have. What up, what up, what up? Great day, peace, prosperity, and power to you. Infinite beings is Brian Hippolyte, the Manifest Mentor, and welcome to another episode of the Greater Resistance Podcast. I represent Manifest University, and I'm here to offer you an elevated consciousness. In case you don't know, we're about breaking generational curses and creating generational wealth. We are about turning thoughts into things and manifesting the life and legacy that we desire. We are about leveling up and walking in our power. And that's exactly what's going on in episode 8 of the Greater Resistance Podcast. See what you see, and don't forget what you saw. When you use your vision... And not your sight. See what you see. And don't forget what you saw. When you use your vision. And not your sight. Don't forget what you heard. When you've heard the verse of God speak. From within. Don't forget what you heard. When you heard the voice of God speak. From within. You love your senses. You rely on your senses for all your survival needs. And. That's all they can provide you. They'll never teach you the ways of thriving. But since you love your senses so much, I want you to not forget what they experienced in the moments when they met with the God within you. Because life is going to show you something different at some moment. I don't want you to forget what you heard and what you experienced and what you saw when life shows you something different. So remember those things at all times so you will continue to work to bring back that image, that concept, that reality that you saw in your mind's eye that you'll work to bring that into your fruition and that's called manifesting. That's what it's all about. Because what we're talking about is when you hear the God within you speak, Then you move accordingly. That almighty conversation is capable of being had at all times. Because the only space between you and the God within you is the space you create. Only thing that separates you is the 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 walls of resistance that you've created. I'm telling you this because I need you to understand how powerful you are. You don't have to call on nobody's deity to do it. Because you are God. Within. God is within you. So quiet your mind, quiet your environment, quiet your humanity. And create the opportunity for you to receive all that is coming your way. All that is there for you to understand. And once you receive, do what will allow you to multiply what you receive. Create from what you receive. Take action from what you receive. Don't just get the message and just let it be the experience. Something that you heard, something that you saw, something that you felt. <laughs> That'd be no difference than all the people I used to see going to church, having a great good old time. You hear me singing, shouting, dancing, jumping, sweating. They was doing it the night before in the club, too. 
They were, they were pulling up and having a great experience, but it wasn't what they were walking and what they were living and what they were really about. How they were utilizing their energy, their faith, their beliefs, none of that. They weren't living in the actions of none of that. Just having the experience. You a whole guy, what you going to do? You don't believe in yourself like that? You backsliding on yourself like that? Let me find out. You're a whole God. So, you know, I don't really care how dope the man or woman in you may be, could be. Some of y'all ain't even that cool, to be honest with you. But there's a God in you that is absolutely phenomenal. Amazing, almighty, and abundant with power. There's a God level within you. There's a God energy within you. There's a God assignment within you. And I think no one's told you that. No one's teaching you that. No one's trying to give you ways to go in that direction. And I don't feel that shit, homie. And that's why I'm here. Because everybody else keeps giving you ways to deal with your humanity. To cope and get through humanity. Versus telling you to turn your God shit on and move with that. And experience life in this dimension. From alignment with the divine state within you. Turn that God shit on, man. It supersedes all that. A lot of the shit you're going to struggle with in your humanity. It really do. And that's what it is. And that's what you got to understand it to be. You're either going to go through life looking through the lens of your humanity or looking at life from the elevated view. Your humanity often looks at everything from a place of lack, a place of limit, a place of limitation. Your God state is looking at things from a place of wholeness, a place of abundance, a place of circulation, a place of multiplication. So what's up? What you want to do? I'm saying it's time to turn that God shit on. Excuse my language. There's a call to action. There's an actionable item in this right now. And that is that you begin to do the things that allow you to move in alignment and not create a resistance to the presence of that God state, that God mind. It's a quiet your environment. Quiet your mind. Listen to what your soul have to say. How could you be in harmony with something that you don't listen to? How could you be in harmony with something that you don't listen to? You're going to have to listen to what your soul has to say. You're going to get clarity for questions you don't even have to ask because your soul already knows what it is that your mind is talking about. And it's not even worried about it. You know, to be honest with you, you spend so much time asking your mind questions and rattling your mind, concerning it with things that your soul ain't even concerned with. And that's why your mind could never figure out figure out the answer because it's not even a concern of your soul it has nothing to do with your path only to do with a story or a meaning that you created and inserted. But if you release all those things, if you sit down and you quiet your mind and you sit still, listen to what your soul has to say. Your soul already knows what to speak of. You be, your soul is in divine time and you be wanting your soul to move in right now um, timing with you you want it to speak on whatever you deal with 
already today but no it's talking about what is in divine alignment with your divine path and i hope this helps somebody today because you need to stop uh, approaching life from this place of need i know religion taught you that that you come and, and and always approach on this i need something you know you always ask for something always requesting things from from you know from a deity or something like you know but you keep making energetically you you making it you're you're putting out the energy that you just like to ask for shit so so the universal law of attraction and all these other things are just going to keep putting you in positions to have to ask for shit because it seems like you just like to ask for shit instead of using the god-given ability within you to create it and manifest it Instead of showing up in wholeness with peace and harmony to bring value to the situation versus looking for what something can do for you. Don't show up with your problems. You can show up in your wholeness. The, 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 the Greater Resistance Podcast. Stop showing up in your victimhood. Dealing with whatever it is that you're dealing with. Show up in wholeness. Go through life in wholeness. Approach situations in wholeness. How would you deal with this in wholeness versus you looking at it from your place of lack? It's time to... It's time to change how you move and with your intention and your energy. It is time to turn that God shit on. Leave this man shit behind. I'm trying to tell you, family... It's only tied to limitations and lack. Instead of saying, instead of always approaching God, deity, ancestors, universe, whatever almighty energy, why not approach and say, what may I offer you? What can I do for you? Change the whole conversation, change the whole tone of the conversation instead of all this. May I have, please, I need energy that you've been bringing to the table, to the altar. You out here offering your energy to everything else. You really, you're really willing to be used by everything but the God within you. And that's scary because we have come become so far detached from our truth. I understand you were taught to be this way. I understand that you've been trapped in a low vibration of energy field for a period of time. But listen. This is a light switch for somebody right now. Turn that God shit on. Yeah. We human. Sure. I'm with you. I got you. Look, a few weeks ago, we was at the MU Mansion reporting live doing Manifest Fest. Had a whole... Gang of Manifest University, 20 or 30 of us together having a great time. But we brought, I'm broadcasting live. And um, and my legs is ashy as shit. Before we left the house, my queen was like, yo, you ain't gonna do nothing about the mashy ass legs? And I was like, nah. I want them to see my humanity. <laughs> Cause for some reason, some reason for some reason they need to be reminded that I'm no different. I'm human too. I'm human too. I just don't operate on these human rules. I just don't handle things the way these humans say that you got to, because I also know that. I'm God too. 
And though I gotta go through life and life be life And I know I can turn that guy shit on Instead of walking through life looking for what you could get from it I walk around looking at how I can impact it I turn that guy shit on I learned how to use alchemy. I learned how to create the realities that I desire. I learned how to turn my thoughts into a thing. I learned how to turn that God shit on. You see the results. You feel it taking place. And I'm here to talk to the God within you that has been limited. That resonates with the God within me that you're experiencing. I'm talking about high consciousness because your consciousness can either catapult you or bury you. It's up to you. Your experiences can either catapult you or bury you. The shit that you went through could either be your reason why or the reason why you did the glorious thing about how this shit is set up is you get to choose you get to choose and you get to make that choice over and over again like, they, like Jay Prince said, every day you got a choice and a chance. What you do with that chance is your choice. So set the stage for your ascension. Lean into your development. You are worthy of all of it. Don't forget what you heard when the God within you spoke. Welcome to the Greater Existence Podcast with me, Brian Hippolyte, the Manifest Mentor. Prior to me joining, I was in a very dark place. I joined MU a couple months ago. You know, everybody that I know says, like, you're not the same man, you know, mentally and spiritually, especially the way you speak. You speak with conviction. And I'm like, because I found my home, I found my place. I think much clearer now. I see things, you know, different. You know, it's been a life-changing experience. Um, Those that, you know, they really looking for a change. Those that want to be around family. Those that just want to live a better life. Come join MU. The experience that I have here is not what I have at home. What do you I'm going to be honest. In all honesty, this is home. It's not just a university. We are a tribe and a family. Join Manifest University today to be in my daily calls, my weekly classes, and a part of our 24-7 community. You can go to brianhippolite.com or doumu.com to join Manifest University today. And I think what I'm saying is you're my favorite one that got pain is. I appreciate everyone that's been vibing to my new EP, Love Letters. This song is called Paintings, and if you haven't heard it yet, it's streaming on all platforms. You are now tuned in to the Greater Resistance Podcast. Don't forget what you heard when the guy within you spoke. If you've been following me, if you're watching me, if you on Manifest University time, you see it happening in front of you. Someone... Releasing the humanity and making way for the God within them. And then you see the you see the results. You see it not only in me and our, but in the lives of our professors and the lives of those who are in my mentorship programs. You seeing it, you're seeing the examples all around you. You're no different. This is the time, space, and reality. For your greatness. All these other events have been choreographed to co- to create and set this stage for you right now so that you can begin to manifest those things that you were sent into this time, space, and reality 
to manifest. This is a season of growth and development. You're going to have to turn down this humanity and turn that God shit on. The, 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 the Greater Resistance Podcast. You're going to have to understand that you were intended to create, not just from experience, but create new experiences as well. They say, they say time is money and money is currency. Time is one of your most powerful currencies that you can use to exchange energy and I want you to know many of us are using this energy, this currency as a poor man experiences money on the smallest measurable scale and with great limitation an overall existence that represents lack many people go through their life using their time the same exact way mismanaging it dealing with it in such small and minute increments and those people also complain that they do not have enough time but the truth of the matter is you just don't have enough attention you have enough time you just don't have enough intention implied in how you utilize your time I'm not telling you what I heard. I'm telling you what I know. Allow it to elevate your existence and how you move through this dimension. Think about this. If your past could not break you, You damn sure are not about to allow your present to destroy your future. But you got to decide. And you got to execute. And stay out of gray areas. That's it. It's really just that simple. You got to decide. You got to execute. Stay out of the gray areas. Welcome to the Greater Existence Podcast with me, Brian Hippolyte, the Manifest Mentor. You know, if I could get you to shift the mentality towards greatness, it would be for you to stop thinking about you need for right now, what you need to do right now based off of what you need to get done for the next 30 days and shift on and start to think about what you need for right now based off of what you need for your legacy and start making moves right now based off of what you need for your legacy what you need in the next 30 days is going to work itself out you're going you're going to make it's you're going to make that happen but if you could shift your what you are putting your mindset on and what you are using your vision for and what you are placing your intentions for and started to place it towards your legacy instead of just what you need to get done and living in this month, this moment, right here, right now. If we can set your sights on something a whole lot larger, you're going to start doing something a whole lot larger. You hear what I'm saying? (laughs) Trying to elevate your vision. I'm trying to tell you to turn that God shit on. I want you to understand something. This version of you has done exactly what you're supposed to do. And that was to lead you to this moment. That was to bring you to this place of evolution. Now at this moment, at this crossroad, a responsibility that you have is to allow every version of you, any piece of any part of you that is not contributing to your elevation to be released and abandoned. Evolution 
does require death sometimes, you know? It does require old things to go and new things to come. So there may be a version of you that does need to die. And now is that place and that time to identify it and make the moves accordingly. You know, it was just a new moon out. It was a, a strawberry moon is what it was called. It was one of the important ones. And I loved what it was doing for my agriculture. Um, very, it was a very definitely a very powerful moon that was giving a lot of uh, energy and electricity to the to the agriculture. Um, I could see a lot of my plants kind of like moving and shifting themselves just so they could get a little bit more moonlight. It was a beautiful thing to watch. But what I also do know is that there were a lot of humans that were using this time to do new moon rituals and different things that they wanted to bring into their existence. And um, and and what I know for sure is, is that a lot of people have not really spoken to God before. So let me give you a conversation that maybe you 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 should understand. All these rituals that you're doing, they require sacrifice. You keep doing all these rituals to every moon, but what are you sacrificing? You got these rituals, you got these things that you write down, you these things that you burn, these things you set on fire, these things that you say out loud. You got you got all of these rituals. But where was the sacrifice? How dare you come to the altar without a sacrifice? Let me speak for the God that you serve and say, what do you think this is? Where is the sacrifice? You just came here with requests? Where is the sacrifice? If you want to move from one thing to another, if you want to manifest something new, it's going to require a sacrifice. And our generation has definitely forgot the art the requirement the beauty of sacrifice you've seen it all through time the honor of sacrifice those who don't feel that are be looking at it from a stingy way being greedy with whatever they have and they want to hold on to it for whatever reason that they're motivated to hold on to it Listen, it's an honor to be able to give. It's an honor to be able to sacrifice for what I want. It's an honor to multi- to do whatever's necessary to multiply this good and make it great. It's an honor to protect what is sacred to me. It's an honor. To lay down whatever is standing in the way. Whatever is not contributing to my elevation. It's an honor to show loyalty to the God within. I listen to y'all summertime and y'all give way too much credit to somebody else's God than you do to God within. And I don't like that shit. You get way too much credit to a God, a deity, a name, an ideal that somebody else gave you than you do to the God that is speaking within you. And I don't feel that shit, homie. I don't like that shit at all. Believe in who you want. I support whatever connects you to something greater and something almighty. But I must disagree with the powerlessness that you subscribe to. Not acknowledging the God within you. The ability that you have. To do. To exist in more power. Beyond these limitations. That you allow to be king in your life. Tap in. To that ability that you have. To be greater. Tap in. To the ability that you have to transcend your humanity in a powerful way. And move in fullness, move in power, move in clarity, move in direction, move in alignment. 
and allowing the God within you to just flow out of you. I'm trying to tell you, it's on tap. Turn that God shit on. Who trying to do it? How live you hear me? I see we got some calls from Manifest University. And we got one of our family members who I love to life because she do not play about me. TT, what's going on, Queen? What you want to tell these people about how to take it to the next level in their life? I just want to say specifically for us parents off top, sound your mind before they ask you get up. Because ain't going to be no sound mind. If you don't sound your mind before they get up, I'm telling you. I've been there, I've walked that path, I've been up since six times, probably five. But um, you gotta take that time for yourself. And try to make it every day, cause it, it, it will change your life. 30 minutes, 20 minutes, take it in the bathroom, a room with nobody in it, a closet. Have your peace moment, cause it helps. And it, um, what is it called? Like balance it. It really make a difference. And try to do it at night time, too. Like, it helps a lot. I love y'all. <laughs> Thank you so much, TT. That was absolutely true, and we love you to life as well. What you said was spot on. You cannot wake up with the demands of your day. Not if you want to rule it. Not if you want to reign. Not if you a king or you a queen. You the one in charge. You cannot wake up with the world and run it. It does not work that way. Listen, you're going to have to get up before the demands of your day. You're going to have to give yourself some time to yourself so that you can grow, so that you can elevate, so that you can be prepared for those things that you're going to have to deal with. Be prepared for what your humanity is going to go through. Have a moment with the God within you first to start off your day. You hear what I'm saying? Even if the demands is you wake up and you immediately start getting ready for work. You wake up or and you immediately have to start dealing with the kids because the kids are up before you. So unless you've already delegated all those things that you need to done at the need to be done at the start of your day, when you wake up, you're gonna have to start getting right to things and not even having a moment in an environment for self. A moment in an environment to connect with the God within. I see we got another call coming in on the MU line. Okay. Yeah, it's that international best-selling author. Sierra Clark, what's going on, Queen? What you got for us? Joshua Morning. Um, I just want to say and that that piece, that place is for you to provide. Like, you, you not gonna get it from anywhere else. And so I was talking to a couple because she was kind of like complaining about her husband. But I said, hell, even in your vows, it don't say, you said sickness, health, to death do you part. Say, not about that man pulls to give you the peace. That Your peace is for you to obtain. Your peace is for you to have and hold because it's yours, not his responsibility to give you. And that's all I'm gonna say. That's right. That's big facts. That's moving from wholeness. And being responsible for your own wholeness and not requiring it or desiring it from others. Because it's within you. Turn that God shit on. Nothing's missing. Nothing's broken. Don't come over here with all that lack. I'll come over here with wholeness and let's see what we can create together with the, when the gods within us are overflowing. That's what I'm talking about. Welcome to the frequency that's all about turning you into a greater version of you. You are now tuned in to the Greater Resistance Podcast with me, the Manifest Mentor. For those who are ready to make a powerful change, for those who are looking for the accelerated path, sign up right now for the Greater Existence Coaching. 12 dynamic sessions, 4 months of coaching in total. Greater shall you be, greater shall you do, greater shall you have. Sign up for the Greater Existence Coaching at BrianHippolite.com. And don't forget to take advantage of the payment plans. Don't forget my new EP, Love Letters, out now. 
everywhere, all streaming platforms. Love letters. Yeah. You're going to love it. This is Skyfall, featuring Shannon LeGrand Range. Cross my heart and hold it down by your side. For you and I, put it all on the line. My favorite high, favorite piece of a pie. Worlds at war, I find peace in your eyes. Against all odds, we gon' make it there. And if it's a problem, we gon' take it there. We got each other, we got Greater Resistance Podcast. I've gotten to see prosperity preachers, as they were called, um, coming through my church, the church that I grew up in. And they always had this 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 glow and had this big old smile very giving drove nice cars and every time they showed up they was trying to tell you how to do it too I would see them give all this flack for their lifestyle. Um, and, and I really don't think I ever heard any of them defend themselves in the way that Reverend Ike did. Reverend Knight said, well, how can I talk about this stuff if I and show you that this stuff that I'm saying works? If it's if it don't if it's not working in my life, how could I ever convince you that it's gonna work in yours? I feel like that kind of ends the argument to me. But I remember growing up watching these guys. thinking how cool of a job is this <laughs> the little great life and just show up to places and tell people about <laughs> how great your life is and then give them some game on how they could do it too and then I would watch this these people the same congregation that I was a part of Still continue to struggle year after year. And I wonder, so what happened? Like, what was what was going on that made so many people miss the opportunity to grow when the tools of growth are in expansion are being handed to them? And I can't speak for those people now. And I, what I do know is that there are a lot of people who don't even have the faith to grow. Because they don't believe they're worthy of more. And we could tell that they don't believe they're worthy of more because of how they handle themselves and how they handle life. How they handle people around them. We've seen people that, as the example was pointed out earlier, as a stingy person. Whether they're stingy with their money, stingy with themselves, stingy with how they were handling aspects of their life. That energy, hold on to it, energy pushes away letting it flow energy, pushes everything away. Including abundance. Stinginess. A stingy person is stingy with themselves.
Are you stingy with yourself? Because everything, like, I mean, are you holding, are you holding on to yourself? And not allowing your goodness to circulate. Because whatever you hold on to, whatever you're stingy with, stagnates, it degenerates. Are you holding yourself and causing stagnation in your life? Holding yourself back, stopping yourself from growing. Stopping yourself from progressing. You know, some people say, well, how do I know? Look at your fruit. What does the fruit say? Because everything done within shows on the outside somewhere it may be in your parenting it may be in your relationship choices and decisions or the problems within the relationship it may be in the way that you handle your finances it could be in how you handle your business or the goals in the and, and agendas that you set for your life it could it could be in so many places that which is with hell does not increase and we're here for increase we're here for that exceedingly abundantly above all we could ever ask or think according to the power that works within you according to the power that works within you so what's going on with the power that works within you Allow it to circulate. It's a tool for its development. It's a tool for its prosperity. The same way that money is used. Fiat currency, cryptocurrency, every currency is used to make more currency by being circulated. In the same way, you got to circulate your goodness. Circulate your goodness so good that it turns into greatness. Now circulate your greatness. You might, you might have, you might be at the, at the part where you have to just circulate it within yourself and allow it to build. You might be at the point where you're circulating it within your within your home environment. You'll know. You'll know when it's time to go to the next environment and increase the next space. You'll know. You'll feel it. But it starts within you. That you find that higher vibration that you have and allow it to overflow in a way that you can start putting your goodness over here and circling and putting some of your goodness over here and circulating some of your goodness over here and allow it to grow and allow it to influence but if you're just holding on to it and keeping it within there's no opportunities for it to grow there's no opportunities for it to circulate there's no opportunities for it to mature because that which is withheld does not increase
stinginess is also tied, and, 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 and there could be several other things that are separating you from increase, but we're just using this word stingy to represent any attitude of anti-abundance. Anti-abundance. Because that is anti-God. I don't care who you believe in, what you believe in, what they look like, how what, what the story is, I'm with it too. I'm with it. Tell me the who? Okay, cool. What did you what you want me to call them? Got it. They got infinite abundance though, right? Okay, cool. That's that's the checklist. <laughs> infinite infinite abundance. Because I've seen people who didn't seem like they real like they really believed that they was connected to infinite abundance and behaved in rather behaved in ways that did not represent that there's abundance over there. Stingy with their time, stingy with their love, stingy with their thing. Why is a child stingy with their things? Because they, because in the moment that they they focus on that one thing, they don't think about anything else. So they they're caught up on it like it's the only thing that they have in that moment. I've seen adults grown in body. <laughs> But not out of that mental stage where they aren't so connected to something that they become stingy with it and not know how to share it. Not know how to allow it to grow. Because everything that you hold on to, everything that you attempt to hold on to stagnates. Generates stinginess tends to poverty, and that's the problem. Stinginess tends to poverty, it comes from a place of lack. Because it was more, if there's just, if there's more available to you, if there's abundance, and you know that abundance avail- is available to you, you share. You share. And what is that doing? Circulating. You pay your bills completely different. When you stop being stingy with your money, thinking about the lack of money, and pay your bills with joy, <laughs> with joy and gratitude of the abundance that you have to pay your bill. Watch what comes your way. Oh, I do it and say, but everything I send out has to come back. So although I'm paying this 325 right now, like that's coming back today too. And I have the and I have the faith to know that it's going that it's going to do so by the time, by the end of the day. One way or the other. Everything I everything I release must come back. Press down, shaking together and running over. That's what they used to say. Abundance, more, circulated. Watch out for stinginess in every form. Every form. Because there are a lot of people who are giving to others, but stingy with themselves. The, 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 the Greater Resistance Podcast. 
that would give everything to others, but don't make themselves priorities in areas that they should be. We say giving to yourselves and everyone wants to think, yeah, I just need to do more for me. I just need to pamper myself more. I need to take more time for me. Give to your greatness, not to your humanity. Haven't you done enough with your humanity? Give to your God within. And watch what it does through your humanity. What else? What else is it, really? Like, what else is it that you must do in your humanity? In all these years? Let's move on. And turn that guy shit on again. Like, let's... Let's... Make a conscious decision to begin to operate on from a higher level, from on a higher place, at a higher zone, on some higher shit. Cause I'm be honest. I look around. And based off of the symptoms. There's a lot of people who aren't too good with dealing with their humanity anyway. So why just keep trying to play a game that you're losing? And learn how to live and operate the way that you're meant to live and operate. is a frequency that you've been trapped inside or trapped at and and you have had the opportunities been given the tools to elevate yourself beyond that frequency and see what shit is like there and see what how you operate in the existence of fullness and and in and goodness and and, and in health and prosperity and infinite everything. Yet day after day, you though some people have, I don't want to say you, because it may not be you, some people have chosen to identify with their weaknesses. What they have defined and judged to be lack. Um, their expectations they allow all these things to allow them to go through life looking up as if they are so so at the bottom and with that low lying mentality they stay stuck in the same place perpetuating Circulating excuses, identities, everything of low vibration. All these reasons to not be greater aren't you connected to infinite (laughs) say this I am always dealing with the infinite I am not dealing with a little bit of anything
From now on, when somebody asks me how I'm doing, I'm going to say I'm in a never-ending cycle of increasing enjoyment. How about you? I'm in a never-ending cycle of increasing enjoyment. That's going to be my my welcome from now on, my salutation. I'm in a never-ending cycle of increasing enjoyment. How's your day going? Because I'm not stingy with myself. I found multiple ways to allow my energy to circulate. And not only shall I be infinitely rewarded for it, compensated for it in real time. Which allows me to do the things that, that, that brings me the utmost joy. See, I'm already, I'm already winning in life for me. And not because of really of any particular dollar amount in the bank or some, or some shit like that, but because I just wanted to be able to not send my children to school and teach my children. That's, that was my, that's, that was that mom not working and not send my, not have to send my kids to school and teach my children. Which obviously meant being in a financial space where I didn't have to uh, work. And so creating that reality has really been the, the life goals, you know, up until recently. Now, you know, there's much bigger goals. None of them are defined by a dollar amount, all by accomplishments and, um, and just manifesting certain things. But never mind all that, back to... Right now, this is everything I dreamed of and wanted. I'm grateful. I operate at a, at a high level of gratitude. On a daily basis. For the ability to do that. I'm grateful. I show my gratitude... Every time I got, every time a bill got to get paid, I mean, I showed gratitude a few months ago by just putting all them shits on on auto pay. Cause I, <laughs> so that was like the big, the big gratitude, like. I ain't even got to deal with this shit no more. Cheers to the abundance. That's what my family says at the, uh, before we eat. Cheers to the abundance. Grateful, I'm grateful for the abundance. Be grateful for what you're doing and do the things that you're grateful for. How you doing? I'm in a never-ending cycle of, of increasing enjoyment. How about you? Listening to Reverend Ike that made me realize, made me remember that feeling of being a kid in church and watching these prosperity preachers come through and drop that game on increase. And they were always saying the same thing. Regard like they all had their different methods and what and whatnot. But in in root, they were all saying the same thing. That there was this wave there was this energy there was this law and power of increase that will work in your life if you let it now there was always some revelation some correlation to biblical text And and in so many words, they said that whatever they was talking about, how it was rooted in scripture. The Christ consciousness, the highest elevated state of your existence. That's your God state. 
the God within you is connected to infinite everything. And if you will connect and allow yourself, allow that God to rule and reign in your life, you're going to experience a higher level of existence connected to infinite abundance. The, 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 the Greater Existence Podcast. Hey, real quick, this is another Greater Existence moment brought to you by the Greater Existence book, 111 Keys to Walking in Your Infinity, available at brianhippolite.com. Go ahead and get your copy today. This is key number five. Get on your level. An honest period of self-assessment is required. Use this page to answer this question and put a date next to it. We will come back here for another honest assessment later in our safari. Where are you at in these areas on a scale of one to 10? One is not good, 10 being great. Self-identification. Self-love. Self-respect. Self-discipline. Self-healing. And self-awareness. This Greater Existence moment has been brought to you by the Greater Existence book, 111 Keys to Walking in Your Infinity. Get it in your life today. Go from lack and limitations to a lack of limitations at brianhippolite.com. Manifest University impacts my life because it helps me have the accountability that I need. It shows me exactly the things that I need in being able to see myself and the ones around me. And then when I do have an issue, I can come and talk it through with them. Yes. You know, that's, that's important. Having that support system. Yes, it aligns with my children and how I interact with my children, how I help prepare them to have the tools they need for life. It's not just a university. We are a tribe and a family. Join Manifest University today to be in my daily calls, my weekly classes, and a part of our 24-7 community. You can go to brianhippolite.com or doumu.com to join Manifest University today. The Greater Existence Podcast with me, Brian Hippolyte. The Manifest Mentor. The resources of the God within you will not be depleted, will not be reduced. The resources of the infinite energy you believe in will not be depleted nor reduced by your use of it. Matter of fact, it multiplies in your use. The enjoyment of good appropriates more good for you to enjoy. Like you've heard me say, like I'm so grateful for things, I attract more things for me to be grateful for. Because I understand. That there is a law, an energy, a tidal wave of abundance that just keeps coming and becoming greater and greater in size. And all I got to do is stand in the way of it. And I'm going to do just that. Although, and as many people will watch me walk to the damn, sh- walk down the shore and stand in the middle of this way, and they gonna sit up on the shore and just watch. And have their stories, have their identities, have their excuses, have their reasons. shit about me for that rather than getting they own they gonna be watching what I get 
and talking shit about him? Who does he think he is? Oh, wait till you pass. Wait till you exceed their expectations of what you're supposed to have. Oh, they gonna say something about your abundance. I pray for the day that you got to tell your stingy family members that your abundance is not here to compensate for their lack of it. Now, obviously, we're going to be giving, we're going to be loving, but these expectations that these people going to have when they see you and your abundance. I pray that you exceed some expectation. Because I know that you are capable of exceeding your own because I know the power of the God that is within you is able to do exceedingly exceedingly above all you could ever ask or think. So whatever you thought, we can exceed it. Whatever you dream, we can exceed it. The God within you gives you the tools to destroy the lack. And we've already established that lack is the devil. You are stingy in life. If there's lack in your life, if you're moving from lack in your life, you are serving a God of lack. So you can tell me what you, who you. stingy in life if there's lack in your life if you're moving from lack in your life you are serving a God of lack so you can tell me what you, who you believe in I could probably look around and tell you which God you serve. It's a good time to remind you you with it at all. You gotta move in wholeness, you gotta move in fullness. Moving in abundance. Knowing that there's greater for you, greater available to you. So how y'all doing? Me? Oh, I'm in a never ending cycle of an increase in enjoyment. How about yourself? Some words to live by. Some things to make real. You never get the opportunity to increase if you hold on to what you got and don't allow it and position it to grow. The same way that you must place your money in different places and give it opportunities of expansion is the same way that you must do that with your energy, your creations, and your power. Because greater shall you be, greater shall you do, greater shall you have. So let's get to it. Let's bring high, high intentions to it. Break the cycles of unconsciousness that may be holding you back. 
Be conscious, be intentional, be of power. And circulate your greatness. Anybody got any questions? We here for increase. We are going to move in the ways of increase. In the ways that represent abundance. In the ways that represent wholeness. Started with an attitude of gratitude. But it's more than just the attitude, it's a lifestyle. When I ask you, if you woke up tomorrow, or if you woke up today, only with the things that you showed you were grateful for yesterday, would you be okay? And most people say no. So we're not talking about an attitude here. We're talking about a lifestyle change. Well, you're grateful. You're extremely grateful. And and enjoy the opportunities given to you. That's like me giving you something and you telling me that you are grateful for it, but you never use it. You think I'm going to enjoy that you just held on to it and, and, and put it on some shelf somewhere or watching you use it or watching you wear it or seeing you in it you know what I mean like think about that cause that's how we do we do that with our energy we do that with our greatness we do that like the God within us within you has given you so much to to to, to let out and you sitting there holding on to it same way that you hold on to your to, to, to your money and not put it in, in positions to grow. Today is the day of exceedingly abundantly. Today is the day that you move into the law and the power of increase and prosperity. We break in generational curses. We create a generational wealth. You cannot be on this train that we on holding on to mindsets of lack. Stingy energy. Nah. Y'all smell that? It's musty, ain't it? Yeah. Nah. Do something about that. Smell stagnant to me. You should be letting some of your greatness go. You should be getting some more replenished. I can't wait till y'all come back for the next retreat because I really want to take you to a spring. I'm so grateful to have this hometown or this state of mind that has so much to offer when it comes to nature. And it's just an amazing thing for you to see water coming from a spring. This big old hole in the earth, that water is just fresh water. It's uh, it's just coming out of in abundance. So that you can get a clear visual of what more than enough looks like. You can float down the spring and we we might, I don't know, we're going to start at the mouth of it where it's all coming out from. Or we gonna end there, but at some point in time, you're gonna see this opening that just keeps giving, exceeding, abundant. So you can see that there's a a source within you that will flow out of you the same exact way. Your greatness. Your expansion, your development, 
your prosperity, your overflow exceedingly abundantly above all you could ever ask or think according to the power that worketh within you. Thank you for coming. But I'm here to talk to the power that works within you. If I don't show much attention to your humanity, it's because I'm here to talk to the power that worketh within you. You can miss me with a lot of that human shit. And I pray sooner or later, you decide to feel the same way. And you decide to miss yourself with a lot of that human shit. And turn this guy shit on. Let today be the day that you choose power, that you choose authority, that you choose to make a way, that you choose to create a way, that you put that God shit on and create the reality, the life, and the legacy that you desire. Thank you for tuning in. It's been another powerful episode of the Greater Existence Podcast. Would love for you to join my family, my tribe, my community, Manifest University, be a part of my daily calls and my weekly class. I also offer coaching, 12 dynamic sessions over four months. If you want to get on an accelerated path of maximizing your potential, go to brianhippolite.com. You can use discount code GREATER to save 30% at everything at brianhippolite.com. My books, my classes, my community, my coaching, it's all 30% off. With discount code GREATER at BrianHippolite.com. Again, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for listening to our elevated consciousness. This is Brian Hippolyte, the Manifest Mentor. Until next time, be great, be powerful, be God's. There is a greater existence available to you and the only thing standing in between you and that greater existence are the excuses that you have created, that you have believed. No matter what you're facing, find yourself to be greater than that situation. I love you to life and I wouldn't water you if I didn't want you to grow. I'll talk to you soon. Peace, prosperity, abundance, infinite power to you and yours until next time connect with me elevate with me with the affirmation audio that's available on all platforms as well this right here is one of my favorites forever grateful i'm forever grateful i'm forever thankful as i walk through life May my stride be graceful as I see the blessings hidden in every message. As I live and I learn, grateful for every lesson. I am peace, I am love. I am joy, I am light. Each day I give gratitude for my life. I am forever grateful. I am forever thankful. As I walk through life, may my stride be graceful. I trust that I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be And receiving what I'm supposed to be getting at this moment When I am in a state of appreciation I align with my higher self I attract positive things to me 
Gratitude is a superpower. Gratitude clears the path for my manifestation. So every day I show appreciation. Gratitude for what I have. And gratitude for what is to come. I'm forever grateful. I'm forever thankful. As I walk through life, may my stride be graceful. As I see the blessings hidden in every message. As I live and I learn, grateful for every lesson. I am peace, I am love. I am joy, I am light. Each day I give gratitude for my life. I am forever grateful. I am forever thankful. As I walk through life, may my stride be graceful. I'm grateful for what I have. And I'm excited for what is to come. I am grateful for the new day. I'm excited for the rising sun. I'm thankful for the light of this day. For renewed energy and renewed strength. I am eternally grateful for the love I am capable of giving and for the love that I receive. Most of all, I am grateful for the love within me. My thanksgiving is perpetual, so it survives every obstacle I'm stepping through. I'm forever grateful, I'm forever thankful as I walk through life. May my stride be graceful As I see the blessings Hidden in every message As I live and I learn Grateful for every lesson I am peace, I am love I am joy, I am light Each day I give Gratitude for my life I am forever grateful I am forever thankful As I walk through life May my stride be graceful Whatever has happened Whatever will happen, I can be certain that I will be grateful. Because I am aware that each moment has something great to offer me. I am grateful now in this moment, and it's keeping doors of blessing open to me. Even devastation is an opportunity for transformation. My gratitude ascends with my elevation. I welcome all the ways the universe wants to bless me. I reject and release all the things that try to stress me. If I approach each situation, experience in person with appreciation, I will be held in the arms of abundance sitting in the lap of patience. I'm forever grateful. I'm forever thankful. As I walk through life, may my stride be graceful. As I see the blessings hidden in every message. As I live and I learn, grateful for every lesson. I am peace, I am love. I am joy, I am light. Each day I give gratitude for my life. I am forever grateful. I'm forever thankful as I walk through life. May my stride be graceful. Whatever I see, I trust that the universe is supporting me. I choose to see this season of life with appreciation. The feeling of gratefulness expands my perspective and opens me up to new ways to live happily, to experience fullness of joy and of peace. The more I pay attention to what's already working in my life, the better it gets. I'm grateful. I'm thankful for the universe and all the blessings in my life. 
I'm grateful for those who have helped me on my journey. I am thankful for myself. I'm forever grateful. I'm forever thankful. As I walk through life, may my stride be graceful. As I see the blessings hidden in every message. As I live and I learn, grateful for every lesson. I am peace, I am love. I am joy, I am light. Each day I give gratitude for my life. I am forever grateful. I am forever thankful. As I walk through life, may my stride be graceful. All I have right now is this moment. And this moment is enough. I am enough. And for that I am grateful. I'm grateful for this version of me. I refuse to take it for granted. I refuse to take any single day for granted. I will embrace them all with a sense of gratitude. I accept both my burdens and my blessings. I see the beauty in them both. I will learn from them both. I will create from them both. I see all existence. I see every moment. I see every day as an opportunity to be greater than I've ever been. I'm forever grateful. I'm forever thankful. As I walk through life, may my stride be graceful. As I see the blessings hidden in every message. As I live and I learn, grateful for every lesson. I am peace, I am love. I am joy, I am light. Each day I give gratitude for my life. I am forever grateful. I am forever thankful. As I walk through life, may my stride be graceful. I'm thankful for the fun, the wealth, and the joy. I am happy and feel fulfilled in this moment. I am excited for what this day will bring. I am grateful for the tremendous opportunities for growth that the universe has placed before me. Even though some days will bring turmoil, I am making a conscious decision to seek peace within my being. I have decided that I will control my emotions. My emotions will not control me. I have decided that I am going to be grateful for the light that I see and the light that I am. Every day, I have more and more to be grateful for. And every day, I will show my gratitude. I'm forever grateful. I'm forever thankful. As I walk through life, may my stride be graceful. As I see the blessings hidden in every message. As I live and I learn, grateful for every lesson. I am peace, I am love. I am joy, I am light. Each day I give gratitude for my life. I am forever grateful. I am forever thankful. As I walk through life, may my stride be graceful.